In QuickBooks Online Advanced, you can create custom roles to give users only the access they need for their role. Let's go over how to create custom roles. To begin, select Settings and then Manage Users. Then select Roles. Note that you need to be an administrator to create new roles. Each role has a list of permissions that decide what a user with that role can see and do in QuickBooks. When you set up a user, you can assign a predefined role or you can make your own. Let's set up a custom role. Select Add Role. Our business has estimates who need to create and submit estimates. So let's set up that role and apply it to a new user. First, enter a name and description for the role. Select a section to see all the permissions for that area of QuickBooks. Select the Access checkbox to give a role full access to all operations in a section. Or select a checkbox for a transaction to set permissions for that type of transaction. Note that you may not be able to select all of the checkboxes. As this feature improves, you'll have more options. View lets users look up historical transactions of this type. Select this if you want to limit a role to view-only permissions. Create means a role can record new transactions of this type. They can also edit the transactions they've entered to correct any mistakes. Edit lets users change transactions of this type that are already in QuickBooks. And Delete lets a role delete transactions so they no longer affect your books. Let's set this role to have full access to estimates. If you use the Locations feature, you can choose which location the role has access to. This role will have access to estimates for all locations. Select a section again to collapse it. For some transactions, you can set up approval workflows and assign roles the ability to approve them. You can also assign roles the ability to submit expenses claims. As you add permissions, QuickBooks may prompt you to grant other related permissions. Access to Inventory lets a role set up and adjust inventory you sell. Access to Lists lets the user with this role view, create, edit, and delete customers and suppliers. Bookkeeping gives them access to download transactions from your bank and credit cards. From Accounting Permissions, you can grant access to the Chart of Accounts, Registers, and other accounting tasks. Payroll activities are very sensitive, so be careful before you give permissions to them. Access to reports is also very sensitive. Time tracking permits a user to enter on time. From account management, you can grant access to certain administrative functions, such as updating your company info and your subscriptions. You can also allow a role to create, view, or edit budgets. Once you're done, select Save Role. After you've set up a new role, it's time to add new users or add the role to an existing user. Let's assign a role to the user. If you want to assign a role to an existing user, select Edit and select the role from Roles drop-down. To set up a new user, select Add User. Enter the user's first name, last name, and then email address. From the Roles drop-down menu, select the role you want to assign to the user. You will also find any new custom roles created in this drop-down. Once you are done, send Invite. This new user is ready to sign in and only has access to estimates. To see what actions users are performing in QuickBooks, select View User Activity from the Action column. You can also delete them. Check out this video to learn how to do that. Now you're ready to set up your own custom roles.